make your life easier now you can download uh, uh, excel files from azminias.com okay just type azminias.com and on your right side you can see the lesson 1 and lesson 3 of microsoft excel yeah? so make sure that you uh, download both uh, files okay then what you should do next is you can open yeah you can open those files okay just go to pc this pc okay and then go to download and then you can download the lesson here that you can see i downloaded uh, several uh, files already all right so now make sure that you open uh, lesson one yeah file lesson one okay that you just download uh, just now okay so uh, okay n uh, next you should uh, click um, number three here yeah, on the worksheet yeah. so now uh, we're going to uh, look into the relative cell referencing yeah technically when we talk about uh, referencing uh, or the relative okay for example okay if you put here uh, advertising yeah advertising expand it means that okay these cells is uh, is referring to this cell okay so by default if you drag this down okay drag this down okay so it means that this cell reference is relative reference which means that the reference is relative yeah, to the location of the cell for example advertising is relative to advertising carriage is relative to carriage which means that if you change this carriage outwards to other than carriage outward for example uh, let's say um, um, stocks yeah, let's say let's say just uh, for example stock okay it refer to uh, the it, it will automatically change and refer to that cell all right so this is cell referencing all right so again how to do it okay you can use the plus symbol okay and then you click uh, the 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 cell that you want to copy or to refer to and then press enter okay and then for the rest of the uh, two expenses here you just drag okay click okay and drag all right so again where to click and drag okay over here click and drag okay so for the next one Okay, again, same. Okay, apart from plus, okay, you also can use equal, yeah, equal to five thousand, and then press enter, and for the rest of it, you can drag. All right. So you want to know the total of these two, these four, four items. Okay, uh, easy. Okay just click auto sum here and then you put here click and drag okay and then you can press enter you got the total here and then you can subtract okay and then you get the numbers okay now click is yeah is worksheet Okay, let uh, do some revision. Okay, uh, how to uh, you need to to sum all this uh, to sum up all these uh, transactions. So the easier way is to click auto sum. Okay, single click here, and then you click and drag. Okay, press enter. Same with this one. Equal or simply click auto sum okay all right so equal 
gross profit minus uh, selling and distribution minus admin. Okay, so we get twenty three thousand five hundred. So let's uh, have a look to the net worksheet balance sheet. Okay, so over here, okay, you we we going to learn the, a new thing. Okay, just now in worksheet three, we do relative, okay, in the same worksheet. How about in the different worksheet? Okay, so now we have we have here, um, the net profit is twenty three thousand. Okay, so in balance sheet we want to put twenty five thousand here. Okay, okay, the net profit here. So how to do it? Okay, what you should do is, okay, press equal. Okay, and then click is. Okay, income statement. All right, and then click net profit. Okay, the figure here, the total net profit, and then press enter. See, uh, this cell is in reference to this cell. Okay, so what if? Okay, what if the numbers change? Let's say uh, the gross profit is more than. Okay, remember this number, eh, twenty-three thousand five hundred. Okay, remember. Uh, so, uh, uh, what if we change the profit to, let's say, hundred thousand? This is one million. Okay, one million will do. Okay, so now look into this worksheet. So, it changed accordingly.